The secondary already better than last year. And we ain't even played a game yet. What's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Rome, Cowboys Fan Talk. Right back like I never left. All right, I left for a couple days. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Hope y'all enjoyed y'all weekend, man. It's slow out here, but look, when you take time off, you get time to think. So, you know what I've been thinking about? Are we better than last year already? What's the thing you hear that we were deficient at the most? Defense. Now, you could just look at the players we picked up in the draft and know that the run defense is going to be better. Just by default. I'm sorry. Some of those players already. Ziggy, Odiggy Zool, or Osa. You got Quentin Bohanna. You got Goldston. You got people that are train run killers. That's what I'm going to call them. Train run killers. You know. But is the secondary better? Yes. Yes, it is. Because right now, without taking a snap in the NFL, Kelvin Joseph is better than Chidobe Awuzie. Yeah, I said it. Without blinking. I'm sorry. Somebody in the comments tell me I'm wrong. Please. Because I don't see it. I've watched the, uh, Chidobe Awuzie. And I'm not saying he's not serviceable. I'm not saying he's not an NFL cornerback. I'm saying that he's not a game changer. And we lied to ourselves and tried to tell him that he was the number one last year. And he wasn't. Byron Jones was our one. Remember, Awuzie was our two. And he was barely a serviceable two. We just forced it. Awuzie played in eight games last year and started six. Like, one interception. He had one interception. He's only averaged an interception a year. First of all, that's horrible. If you're a starting cornerback in the league, in four years they have four interceptions, it's trash. You know what I'm saying? So you shouldn't be surprised that you ain't get a contract. You know what I'm saying? But he had like five pass defense in six games. Like, he wasn't changing the game at all. Kelvin Joseph had a better college career than he could have dreamed of. Kelvin Joseph was tied for the most interceptions in the SEC. Second most interceptions, I mean. Kelvin Joseph gets, Joseph gets busy. He plays best when the lights is brightest. Kelvin Joseph technically... Should have came out of LSU and would have went higher. Now, I know. Here y'all come with the off-the-field stuff. But let's be honest with you. If Kelvin Joseph's hobby was playing golf, would y'all care? Would you? Would it matter? The boy just liked to rap. That's his other talent. I don't see the problem. Let's talk about skill set. Let's talk about skill set. That boy can play some football. It's natural to him. It don't look forced. He ain't had to train his way to get nice. He's just naturally good at football. Just look at his footwork and tell yourself that he's better than Awuzie now. Just prospect-wise. He ran a 4-3 official and a 4-3-4, I think, and a 4-2-8 unofficial. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's just more explosive to him. He has better ball skills to him. He has better football instincts to him. Immediately, he, he upgrades our quarterback, too, as a rookie. Because remember, as much as y'all want to say he's a rookie, Trayvon Diggs was a rookie last year. And Trayvon Diggs came in and snatched the quarterback one position from Chidobe Awuzie immediately. He played like one or two games, and he was getting beat last year, too. Diggs got beat a bunch of times. But you know why we said, you know what, that's CB1? The same thing while we hype about Kelvin Joseph. They just got that dog mentality. We just went from two docile cornerbacks to what I want to say. Just and I know, I know a lot of y'all hate the dog, the dog um reference, but I'm just saying. Throw at Kelvin Joseph, you throw at Trayvon Diggs, you think twice slightly. Cause they might turn and snatch it. They might jump a route. They might lull you to sleep just so they can intercept you. And that's the difference between our cornerbacks now and one year ago and two years ago. Our secondary is already better. Sometimes you can get better by addition by subtraction. 
We got rid of Xavier Woods. That's such a big deal. First of all, his mentality was messed up. It just was, man. He didn't want to really. He said it to y'all himself. You know, you can't try hard or go hard every play. What? Like, people with that mentality got to go. You know what I'm saying? They cut the cancer off the D-line. You know what I'm saying? They got rid of some of the cancer on the D-line. They cut the cancer out the, the safety room, too. You know, I probably shouldn't refer to it as cancer, but this is, yo, if your ideals leak into somebody else's brain and they start being like, well, you can't go hard every play. I kind of feel Woods. That's setting the team back. I like the attitude of this new secondary room. Now, you know, Brown and Lewis are holdovers, but just the mere change in aggression and attitude to the room will hopefully make them better or make them expendable. You got Candidate coming back. He opted out. Candidate is a definitely a serviceable cornerback. Let's not get it twisted. He came from Baltimore. He can play. He's not like scrap heat. He just opted out. Everybody forgot about him. So when you start looking at this cornerback room, it's not as skimpy as you think it is. And to be honest with you, I'm ready to go ahead and put out there that it's better. Now, y'all can tell me I'm wrong. Y'all can tell me, oh, you just hype. I'm just letting you know from what I see, the players that we have, we've added, even the, you listen, look, you look at Neil. Like one of my boys, um, my boy BJ Nix, Star Game Podcast, salute to my brothers um, and sister. Um, he said, what if they run Neil and Wilson at the safety? Because I was just like, that's the glaring hole in our secondary is our safety room. Because I'm just, I got to see how Casey runs, man. I can't wait for OTAs. I just want to see how he runs. If he running like he got piano on his back, like what's going on with him? Um, I have nothing but faith in Donovan Wilson. But what if they move Donovan over to the free safety and run Neil at the strong because we got Micah now and we got Cox now. And now the linebacker room is so full, Neil got to slide back to safety. But he can play strong well, right? And I have faith that if Wilson got pushed over to free, he can play it. Just his ball instincts and stuff like that, I feel like he can play it. Everybody's saying, I don't know if he can run sideline to sideline. I think he can. I beg to differ. Y'all can't tell me that we rolled out um, Donovan Wilson and Keanu Neal at safety. Kelvin Joseph, Trayvon Diggs, Lewis or, or um, Brown in the nickel. That you ain't just more confidence in this um, this secondary. And we got Canada and, 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 and Wright as our rotational pieces. You can't tell me that you're not more confident. I am. Maybe I'm tripping. You know, whatever. You know, Optimus Prime, as people like to tell me, I'm too, I'm too happy, I'm too, too positive about the Cowboys, whatever. But look, I'm gonna touch on this for two seconds right before this video ends. Julio Jones is not coming to the Cowboys. Don't at me. He's not better than Amari Cooper. He's not better than CeeDee Lamb. And I am not even gonna do that whole, let's just trade him for Michael Gallup, no. We got our receivers, we ready to roll. We don't need nobody else. Julio Jones ain't coming to the Cowboys. And to be honest with you, I don't really think he's better than too many people. You stack Amari's last two years and Julio's last two years and tell me who you taking. Not to mention that he like 33 years old. Father Time's undefeated. So I'm good on that. He can wear as many Cowboy hoodies as he want. I ain't pressed, man. I know I'm hype about OTAs. It's time, man. It's time to start getting some more info out here and get locked in, man. The season is close. They saying we, what, 16 Sundays away? Let's get it. Let's get it, man. But y'all let me know in the comments how y'all feel about our secondary already being better than last year's right now before they take a snap. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I don't care. I know it's better. And can't none of y'all tell me I'm not. Can't none. I'm just good on Julio. Sorry. He can wear a Cowboys hoodie all he want to. I'm good. But look, OTA is about to kick off. We about to get some real info. I'm ready for it, man. But y'all y'all let me know in the comments if I'm wrong about our secondary already being better before a snap is taken. Because I'm confident, man. Like I said, we better now, and I said without blinking. But I know y'all going to tell me I'm wrong. That's what y'all do. It's your boy, Mr. Wrong. I'm going to holler at y'all because OTAs is coming.